This is the pancreatic transaction margin, and I was called up to the frozen section lab by a senior but very good pathologist whose subspecialty is not GI. And she had a very pointed question for me. Although when I went down there, I looked everywhere. I particularly looked between the lobules, which is where the pancreatic adenocarcinomas often hide. I looked at all of this stuff, the cartridge stuff, and remember this patient was treated with neoadjuvant therapy, which sometimes makes assessing margins somewhat of a challenge. But the specific question this person had for me is these glands. Now, this is the main pancreatic duct, and I know that because it has a very thick sheet of fibrous wall surrounding it. The question was, what do you think of these ducts? They touch fuzzy, they looked rather monotonous, but the person was very worried because there were several of them. Here's another, and then as you go along, you start seeing these ducts. Now the cells are columna, but falling apart. Here's another duct down there. Let me see if I can ask you, show you a few more. Here's another and another. So it was these cells, these glandular structures, that were of great concern. And I opine, fortunately, I ended up being right. I have been wrong in the past. But my question is, what would you call this? What would you call these ducts that are surrounding that main pancreatic duct? So moment of truth, this is the permanent section. Again, you notice there's a lot of fibrosis. And when I received this case, I again looked all around, particularly in the interlobular fibrotic zones, looking for cancer. I looked around the nerves. I looked around the vessels to see if there was any cancer there, and there wasn't. Remember the question that we had at the point of frozen section was, is this stuff around the main pancreatic duct, is this stuff cancer? And ultimately, I decided that this is not cancer, which is what I call the frozen section. I believe these are little ducts that you often see right adjacent to the main pancreatic duct. I believe, but correct me if, I, if I've gotten this wrong, I believe that these are little ducts that are connecting up with the pancreatic ductal system, so channels connecting the rest of the pancreas with the main pancreatic duct. In this particular case, they were very prominent. Why do I think this is not cancer? For one, it's confined to the immediate area around the main pancreatic duct. It's not spreading anywhere there outside that zone around the main pancreatic duct. It's very monotonous. It's unusual to feel monotonous cancer like this. The architecture is wrong. There were not any of those angulated glands. 